morning and welcome to Grain TV. My name is Cody Bills. This is Brock Shimano. Today is the 27th and we have a continuation to a rally that started on Sunday evening. Right now, corn in the uh, new crop is up 17 and 3 quarters, uh, beans up 18 and wheat up 7. Brock, uh, is this is a weather driven rally. Do we have any updates? You know, the weather has continued to be hot and dry across much of the Midwest. Uh, we've seen temperatures reach into the 100 degrees in Kansas, uh, parts of southern Iowa, Nebraska, northern M Missouri. Uh, it's definitely causing some concerns out there for a lot of the producers. We've seen the crop deteriorate sharply over the last few weeks, and it looks like it's going to continue for some time to come. Not a, a lot of precipitation anticipated over the next 10 to 14 days. Um, and it's going to take a lot of precipitation to put an end to this deterioration of the crop. Uh, we've seen the market rally very sharply over the last several sessions. Cody, do you think we're going to continue higher or do you think we're going to take a little bit of a breather here? Well, let's just take a look at the new crop corn. This is really where a lot of the movement's going on. We put on a dollar here in the last uh, few sessions and it is just going up sharply. Now, uh, this can lead to panic. This can lead to uh, perhaps uh, um, getting out of some positions if you're having a margin call. But one thing I did want to focus in on is really the technical landscape. Look at the uh, the high back here around 660. I think this is going to offer some significant resistance, some significant selling. Uh, we have seen uh, demand be rationed around those levels. And uh, and I also want to focus on the, the time of week that we are. Here we are Wednesday. We have a huge report on Friday. So that means that there's likely going to be some sort of position evening going into this report. And I'm wondering whether or not, and I, I guess maybe I'd, I'd err on the side of, of thinking that we're not going to break out of that 660 area. I think if we break out, it's going to have to be because of this report that we see on Friday, uh, but but who knows? You know, this is going to be a, a stocks report. This is going to be an acreage report, and we actually may see some selling onto it, uh, depending on on what we uh, get for news. So. Uh, that's that's really a major issue. What are your thoughts here? You know, I'm, I'm thinking about the report as well, and I think that's more of a supply side uh, of the equation. What we need to focus on and continue to focus on is the demand side. We've seen demand be pretty weak over the last uh, you know couple of months, actually. Export demand has been very dismal for the last six to seven weeks. We've seen ethanol margins actually move into the negative territory, so we haven't seen a lot of ethanol plant demand as well. Um, so that's a couple issues we definitely need to keep a focus on. And looking back over the last year or so, each time we've approached 650, we've actually started to wane on the demand side of the equation. Mm -hmm. So we're back in that area again around 650. I think demand will get uh, curved a little bit here at these levels. So I wouldn't be surprised to see some selling in position evening like you were saying going into this report on Friday. Yeah, that sounds fair enough. Hey, stay tuned. Uh, after the commercial break, we're going to talk about some new margin requirements announced by the CME. I'll have to be honest with you. First thing I'm going to mention right up front is, is it's free. Uh, I, I like this, this, this service when, when it's free because, you know, you can tie up a lot of money in, in different services. And from experience, I found out that a, you, sometimes you can pay a lot of money and you, you may not be getting that much out of it. Welcome back to Grain TV. At the end of today's session, the CME group will be initiating some new margin requirements for hedgers and speculators. Cody, why don't you take us through what we're looking at? Yeah, let's just take a look at corn. Look, look at the old crop. This is the current initial. This is exact. This is the initial margin. Uh, what we're seeing today, what what guys have in their account today. We went from two thousand three hundred sixty-three bucks to two thousand seven hundred dollars, and the maintenance went from one thousand seven hundred fifty to two thousand. All down the line here for corn, soybeans, and wheat. What we're seeing is an increase in margins, and so just be ready for that, especially as we go into the report. Volatility has picked up. This is probably a legitimate move by the uh, the CME. So just uh, just pay attention because it, it may affect the market, and it definitely will affect uh, your account if you have positions on. Yeah, you know, I think the, the main effect that this will have on the market is that some of these week longs that have been added over the last few sessions might get shaken out a little bit, having to meet these new margin requirements. So that's something we're going to have to pay attention to in the next couple sessions or so. Yeah, I actually think, you know, maybe yesterday uh, we saw a little bit of a pullback after an initial rally. Um, you know, I think that may have uh, played a role in there as, as some of the, uh, the guys that had positions on booked some profits. I think this was probably a, a par portion of that. And of course, now we're up again today. But just like you said, another another reason why we may have this rally capped off at least until the report on Friday. 
If you have to get out in the fields and do some work, make sure you follow us at uh, on Twitter, at Green TV is where you can find us. You can get a hold of us at 877-472-4607. Right now is a perfect time to take a demo. Marks have been volatile. We have a big report coming up. If you want to get live quotes on your desktop at home, make sure you give us a call.